Looks like you won't have to be delivering pizzas anymore, Deeds. Now you're a very rich man. What's that got to do with delivering pizzas? Oh, that's right. Ladies. Top one's yours. Oh, thank you, Deeds. Of course. Yummy, yummy. So, Deeds, what's new? I found out I have an uncle, but he died. Oh, that's too bad. He gave me $40 billion, though. Well, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Don't you go and spend it all on some fancy record player. I won't. Who are your friends, Deeds? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Chuck, Cecil, this is Jane, Kitty, and Sue. Pleasure to meet you, Cecil. Pleasure's all mine, Kitty. Or should I just say, meow? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Anderson. Mm. Now, why am I inheriting this money? Well, you're Mr. Blake's closest living relative. Really? He had nobody else? Nope, that's it. Gosh, I'm hearing a myth thing now. Could you hold this for a second? Mr. Weatherly, how you doing, pal? Very well, Deeds. Just going to the pharmacy. Oh, well, let me get you there a little quicker. Uh, how's your wife? She's fine. Terrific. Say hi for me. I will. OK, here you go. Uh, Thanks for the lift, Deeds. Oh, you got it. Deeds, we need you to come back to New York with us just for a few days. We're drawing up some papers that you'll need to sign. What kind of papers? You see, technically, you've inherited 300 million shares of Blake Media Inc. Now, Chuck and I, along with some of the partners, are going to buy that stock for $40 billion, which, of course, we've had to borrow from oh, various Oh, who cares other... about all the financial mumbo-jumbo? We just need a little bit of time to dot the T's and cross the I's. And while we're doing that, we need you to stay away from the press. Well, the media frenzy will die down in a couple of weeks, but until then... Oh, you don't want reporters crawling all over this lovely little town, do you? Oh, no. 